Hey guys, welcome to Shafi Next. In this video, I am explaining how to plot a three-dimensional function with its projection like the one you see on the screen. Let's see, how can we do this? So you see, I have a function g with dependent variable x and y, and I put the form of the function at this side, on the right side of the equation. So in order to achieve our goal, I first want to plot the function again x and y through the command 3d plot like I'm doing over here. I put the function inside the argument of plot 3d with x and y varying from minus 15 to 15. And then I add some other commands like plot range, color function, hue, mesh none, box stage, etc. And if I run this part of the program by first uh, reading G, and then I run this part, I get a 3D figure of the function. And I assign this figure to PL1. And now I want to plot the function GX, G of X and Y through the command slice contour plot 3D in order to generate the projection in the XY plane. And I asked Mathematica to put the projection of the function as a contour plot on the position along Z axis with minus seven. And since the function is quite independent of the Z axis, but the slice contour plot takes three plotting variable. That's why I, in order to uh, fulfill that condition, I give arbitrary values to the z axis. And obviously, this is not appearing in the equation. So, it, whatever the value may be, it won't make any difference. And then I ask Mathematica to plot it between the range from minus 5 to 4.6. I add other commands like contour 30, axis is false, plot 100, plot rent padding 0, color function, box false. So this condition will plot the data without uh, creating a box. If I run this part of the program, I get this surface plot without any axis, any box. And I assign this value to slice. Now I want to combine these two figures through another Mathematica command. I combine the two plots through the show command by putting inside the argument of show command PL1 and slice 1. And then again, I give plot range, box ratio, and phase grid, etc. If I plot this part of the program, I get the desired figure. I can a little bit play with this to visualize the projection very clearly by rotating this like this and this give a clear view of the figure. So this way you can plot 3D figures with its projection at the position along Z axis by adjusting the position of Z axis at your own desired position. At the end, I would like to request if you haven't subscribed to Safi Mix, kindly do subscribe by supporting the channel through your subscription.